After leaving the Bahia Concepcion, we drove 180 kilometers south and spent some time exploring the beautiful towns of San Javier and Loreto before driving down some very questionable roads towards Agua Verde. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and join the adventure. Yeah, Dana's uh, trying to dig us out. have arrived in Loreto, which is known to be a beautiful, vibrant little town. Today we're just kind of wandering around and exploring the town square. There is something about just aimlessly wandering through streets of a town that you've never been to before that I just love so much. We stumbled upon the cutest bar for an afternoon cerveza and then found Nanny's Tacos for lunch. On this really cute uh, taqueria, it's literally just a tent in the front of somebody's house. Cute little spot and excellent cheap tacos. Oh yeah. Mm. That was absolutely delicious. Just the cutest, quaintest little taqueria to the point where when I thought I was going to the bathroom, I actually walked into their uh, living room, so that was fun. But. Yeah, just absolutely delicious tacos. And I think now we're just going to head back to the van and continue driving south. Okay, we made it and every minute of that drive was so worth it. It is absolutely beautiful here. Anywhere that we can let Mowgli just run around is pure bliss. Hey buddy. I'm just so happy to be here. Hi buddy. Okay, drop. Yes. No, leave it. Hey, pause off. Hey. Morning gratitude journal every morning. It's actually my favorite way to start the day. Okay, so we didn't quite make it to Agua Verde last night. The steep, windy, cliff edge road was a lot. We ended up just finding a spot once we kind of got down to the ocean and it is so beautiful here that now we're a little bit torn. Do we continue on today or spend another night here? Okay, buddy, let's go. Go in with Dada, buddy. Go in with Dada! How was that day? Super nice! Okay, so the verdict is the flies are absolutely horrendous. And I think we're going to continue on to see if maybe we can find somewhere a little bit less buzzing, you know? Not even five minutes into starting to drive, we decided to take a road that we didn't go down yesterday for some reason. It looked nicer at the beginning and then now we realize that we are stuck. Well, we got to a dead end, couldn't turn around and yeah, Dana's uh, trying to dig us out. Fingers crossed, guys. Okay. Did I spin it again? Not really, but... 
try this again. Nope. in the tracks <laughs> it is moments like these that definitely make me wish that i had four-wheel drive all right let's uh oh that was slobber <laughs> let's head on to agua verde we are on another dirt road it's uh it's interesting and i hope the spot is worth it <laughs> Hey buddy, what are we doing? The road is starting to get a little bit sandy, so Dane's just doing a walk down first just to kind of see what the conditions are like, make sure that it is something we can go down without getting stuck. So, fingers crossed. Maybe? We made it! Yes! As you can see behind me, we have made it to the ocean again, thank goodness. That was very interesting. Definitely a few spots that I'm nervous for on the way back up. But for now, we're just gonna enjoy it. For lunch today, I made uh, one of my friend Julia's recipes. It's a buffalo chickpea salad. And instead of on toast, we're going to eat it on tortillas since we are in Mexico. <laughs> Want to go for walkies? Should we go for our morning walkies? There is nothing better than starting your day with a nice little family walk along the beach. Happy dog, dog. <laughs> There is honestly nothing better than laying out and just enjoying the late afternoon sun. It feels so good on your skin and yeah, just super happy to be here. We just finished up some yoga, uh, which was nice, but you know, got a little hot there. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Nice and refreshing. Nice and refreshing. Hi, buddy. Not a bad place for a dip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, you're sitting on mum. Yeah. Aw, thanks, buddy. spot we were at and pack enough supplies but uh, just on our way out now hopefully it will go smooth sailing we met some of the nicest people down at that cove like actually quite sad to be leaving just because we were all having such a nice time chatting looking at all of each other's <laughs> all of each other's van builds and all that kind of stuff but yeah it's time to uh, continue on to the next spot I know where me here Yes, we shall see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Woo! Woo <laughs> they started spinning. That uh, was nerve wracking. Like, literally got caught in a groove and I could feel them. Okay. Well, that was, I think, the worst of it, hopefully. Yeah. That's the one I was nervous about on the way down. Nothing like off road and in a two wheel, two wheel drive. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell in the video how nerve-wracking that actually is to watch, but we're doing it. I also brought my plant babies out with me because they have just been absolutely getting shaken around. Molly that we met at our campsite actually had a whole bag of dirt. They've had to like replant their plant babies from being on the road as well, so thank you. We did it! Well, I am glad that uh, we didn't turn around, I guess, two days ago. We hope you guys
guys enjoyed this week's video and if you don't mind you hit the like and the subscribe button it really helps out our channel and yeah we love you appreciate you and we'll see you in the next one